and thank you for choosing the 520 series tank mixer thermostatic mixing valve. This brief video is to help give you an overview and some tips and tricks on how to install your new 520 series. Before we get too far into the video, I want to make sure that you're aware that inside every box with the 520 is a nice set of installation instructions. Be sure to read those because everything you need to know to install a 520 will be right in there. If you're already familiar with some of our thermostatic mixing valves, like the popular 521 series, you'll notice that the 520 series is slightly different. It is going to have an angled valve body on it, which is very helpful when installing it on top of a tank style water heater. We offer the 520 series a couple of different ways. The first of which is that you can get just the valve body alone by itself. When you do this, you can choose from our wide array of fittings that we offer in sweat, NPT, press, or PEX. We offer these in half, three quarter, and one inch sizes, along with the availability of inlet check valves, depending on what your application needs. The 520 series is a point of distribution mixing valve, which is to be used near the heat source. It also meets the requirements of the low lead law for domestic water applications, but it can also be used in hydronic systems. Another unique feature to the 520 series is its ability to completely close off the hot water inlet to the mixing valve in the event of interruption of the cold water to the mixing valve. This is also very helpful to prevent recirculation creep. The second way that we offer the 520 series is in a configuration that we call the tank mixer that you see here. The tank mixer comes with everything that you need to install the thermostatic mixing valve on top of a tank style water heater. So let's go over everything that you're going to find inside the box. First you're going to have your thermostatic mixing valve body and it might actually be connected to the tail pieces for your mixed outlet assembly. This particular model has a drywall in it that allows you to use it with a temperature gauge on your mixed outlet, which is pretty handy, but we also offer models without it as well. Next guy over here is going to be our, we call it our cold water cross. This is going to be installed on your cold water inlet. It's going to have a connection on the top of it for your cold water, as well as a port on the side for a recirculation line if you have such a thing. Now if you don't have a recirculation line in your system, we provide a half inch plug to plug off that port. On the top here, we're gonna have two tail pieces. They're gonna be three quarter inch female NPT and these are going to allow you to connect the whole assembly up to the top of your water heater which is typically going to be a three quarter inch uh, dielectric nipple out of the top of the water heater. The last guy over here is going to be your stainless steel line. It's going to be roughly 18 inches and this is going to allow you to connect the cold water inlet from the cross over to the cold water inlet of your thermostatic mixing valve. That 18 inch flexible stainless steel line allows you to connect from the hot side to the cold side of your water heater and also be able to make it around things like a flue pipe or the fan on top of your water heater. So let's go over how to assemble it here on our mock-up water heater where we've already got two three-quarter inch dielectric nipples and we'll start from there. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to use the two three-quarter inch tail pieces that come in the kit to go straight to the top of your water heater. Now these ones are going to use a ceiling washer like what we use on our standard mixing valve. So we're actually going to leave those right here to the side. But what's unique about these units is that they actually use what's called a slip nut. But when you put it on there, it actually has a couple of different uh, holes here that you gotta kinda match up and then it'll pop right on there. Once you've got the slip nuts on, then you can put your ceiling washers on the top there. And then we'll work from that into our cold water cross that you see here. Now on the cold water cross, you are gonna have some arrows on here. Now this particular uh, tail piece here is three quarter inch sweat. This is where your cold water inlet is going to come into the water heater. Um, and so you're gonna put your cold water inlet there. And then this arrow pointing down is going to go into your water heater. This arrow here pointing to this other slip nut is going to be the cold, going to the cold water inlet of your mixing valve. So from there, you're going to put this together with that ceiling washer in place, just like that. From there, again, on the back side here, you are going to have a half inch NPT port, which will be very beneficial if you're using a recirculation system on, on the home. But if you're not, again, we offer a, a half inch male NPT plug. So from there, you are going to install your mixing valve assembly. Now again, this is actually comes with the tail pieces as well as the dry well for the temperature gauge. 
this guy is going to go on the hot inlet. You'll notice that they're actually marked with red and blue dots. So the hot inlet is going to go to the hot outlet of your water heater, again with that slip nut. Now that we've got the thermostatic mixing valve in place, we are going to move on to the uh, flexible stainless steel line. You'll notice on the one side you're going to have female union connection with it. It's actually going to have an EPDM sealing washer in there, but on the other side we have taped on one of the standard green sealing washers that we use in our other assemblies. So you're going to take the tape off, just like that. and. Obviously, the female or the male side of this flexible assembly is going to go into the cold water cross with that sealing washer in place and just kind of loosely tighten that up. And then the other side, you're going to flex this guy around and connect it to the cold water inlet of the mixing valve. And you can kind of work this flexible stainless steel line around to meet your needs. Uh, from there, everything is still kind of loose. So everywhere that you are going to have a union nut, you're going to want to make sure to tighten that down with a wrench so that way you won't have any leaks. Again, the half inch port for the recirc, if you're going to cap that off, make sure to use a little bit of pipe dope or sealing wash or a pipe dope or a thread tape and make sure that you can kind of move things around where you need them or where they're most accessible. So like your temperature gauge well here, you're going to move that to where it's accessible for, for the average homeowner to see and then you are going to put in your temperature gauge and again tighten everything up and then make your connections to the top. Again, this particular model we have with sweat connections at the top but we offer this in NPT or press connections as well. So now that you've got your tank mixer assembled and everything's tightened down and all your connections are made, we're going to go ahead and make the adjustments to your mixed outlet temperature. Your 520 series is going to have an adjustment knob with uh, adjustments from minimum to maximum that correlate to roughly 95 to 150 degrees. So you'll uh, want to make sure that to realize that this knob is just going to be a reference. So as you make your adjustments, you will want to confirm the mixed outlet temperature at a fixture in the home. You'll notice on the 520 series that there is going to be an index point here, and that's going to give you a relation to where you have the knob set to. But a unique feature of this, along with our 521 series, is that the knob can be removed, and you can actually lock the knob in place to prevent tinkering after you've made your installation. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have any further questions, be sure to contact your wholesaler, your rep, or us directly. And thanks for watching.